we've been using the CDC's definition of an influenza-like illness that's referred to as ILI. And that's having a fever of 100 or greater and having a cough uh, or a sore throat. And we've so far diagnosed uh, approximately 175 students that fit that uh, criteria. Now, all of these individuals don't get a specific nasal swab to see if they actually have H1N1. And this is through the, rec you know, this is uh, through the orders of the CDC and the state public health department, which right now is the only lab in the state that can actually do this test. What we have done, though, is we have become one of the surveillance areas for the state, which that means is that we randomly uh, do some s nasal swabs on a few patients a day that we diagnose with ILI. Then we find out how many of those swabs are positive specifically for H1N1. That gives us an idea of how many of the individuals that have ILI actually have H1N1. And it is interesting and surprising to me uh, that about 75% of our uh, surveillance swabs have been positive. So again, I would say that we have about 175 cases of students that have ILI. Most of them have very mild illness, last two or three days and they get better. How many of those actually have H1N1? I can't tell you for sure, but my, uh, from these surveillance swabs, I would estimate that the majority of them uh, ha actually have H1N1.